We need to understand that this image was the painful image of when she disappeared, but this is an image or close to it that we want people to focus on now. We are approaching the two year mark since baby Lisa Irwin went missing. Now we have a look at what she may look like today. The National Center for Missing and Exploited Children released this age progression picture of baby Lisa. KCTV 5 Sandra Olivas talked to the center today about how these pictures are created and how accurate they can be. Sandra? Well, you know, next month, baby Lisa, who disappeared from this house, would turn three years old. And many have wondered what she might look like today. Take a look. This is a new image that was released by experts. It now gives us an idea. Her parents spent the day making hundreds of new flyers with this picture, hoping to distribute it throughout the community to bring their daughter home. When we stopped by their house in the Northland today, Deborah Bradley and Jeremy Irwin refused to do an interview about their missing daughter, baby Lisa. They said they hired a new PR person who advised them not to speak out until Saturday at a vigil planned here at the house where the 10-month-old vanished two years ago this week. Thank you for coming by. And like I said, I'm so sorry we couldn't do anything with you right now, but I look forward to seeing you guys at the vigil. And like these old flyers still posted throughout the neighborhood, local and national awareness about baby Lisa's disappearance has faded. But take a close look at this new image that was just released depicting what baby Lisa might look like now. Authorities hope it will get the public to refocus on the big picture. People are no longer looking for a baby. The hearts are feeling the hurt of the baby gone. But mentally, we need to be looking for an older child now. Lieutenant Kelly Bailiff is a child safety expert in association with the National Center for Missing and Exploited Children. She explained how the center's forensic experts use science, art, and even photos of baby Lisa's parents when they were children to generate this age progression photo. They'll use siblings, they'll use parents' pictures, they'll use whatever pictures they can. Basically, it's an artist and some software. It's the very best guess that they think that they forensically could put out there. She showed us some good examples of age progression photos that were pretty close to what the actual victims looked like when they were found alive. The high profile case of JC Dugard in California, who was abducted from her home at 11 years old. Here's the age progression photo of her next to a real photo after she was rescued many years later. You really want the eyes, the nose, and the mouth to really stand out. And that's the focus of basically of a, of a good age progression. Now, some who saw this new picture of Lisa, they thought that she looked older than three years old, and that's a pretty accurate assessment since the National Center for Missing Children, they are so swamped with missing cases that they're only able to create these images every two years. And so they tell us that this picture of Lisa is something that is supposed to last from now until she turns five years old, and then they'll create a new image. Now, baby Lisa's parents maintain that they are innocent that they had nothing to do with her disappearance. Kansas City, Missouri police tell us that over the last two years, they've received 1,700 tips, and they continue to receive at least one new tip a week. If you have any information that can help them, go ahead and call the tips hotline number at 816-474-TIPS. Reporting live, I'm Sandra Olivas for KCTV 5 News. Well, as you heard Sandra mention, police and the FBI have investigated more than 1,700 tips in this case. Here is the timeline of events that have unfolded in the case so far. Baby Lisa was last seen on the evening of October 3rd, 2011. Her family reported her missing the next morning and an Amber Alert was issued. On October 6th, the family made a public plea for someone to come forward with information. On October 11th, private security consultant Bill Stanton was hired using money from an anonymous donation. Three days later, Stanton announced there would now be a $100,000 reward in the case. On October 17th, high-profile attorney Joe Tacopina announced he was representing the family. Two days later, police searched the home again using cadaver dogs. And according to court documents, the dogs got a hit in the parents' bedroom. Less than a month later would be Lisa's first birthday on November 11th, with still no sign of the blue-eyed baby. Friday is the two-year mark since baby Lisa was reported missing. She is still considered missing.